Yeah, pick up some of those puffs that she likes. Okay. And you'll be home by seven? Great, love you. Teddy, play closer, where I can see you, okay? You know, uh, I get overwhelmed when it's my day with the kids, too. Yeah, I bet. There's no way I could do this every day, bro. Yeah, you could. I'd do it. Oh, uh, yeah, I got some buddies who lost their job in the bus, too. Teddy, I want you here where I can see you, not farther away. You know, if you give them a reward, they're nine times more likely to follow simple tasks. I did not know that statistic. Thank you. This is my wife. <laughs> you should really listen to some of her tips, and we can really help you out. Oh. I don't need any tips, actually. I'm a stay-at-home dad, so I do this all the time. Oh, well then you should know if you want to do hands-free stuff on the go, a wrap is really the best way. Well, you should know if you're going to wear the Guardian wrap crosswise, that the baby has to be a little higher up so you don't restrict her airway. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Well, it is fucking true, <laughs> okay. so why don't you look it up or whatever and be aware. I don't think you should curse in front of... A baby? It's okay to curse in front of a baby, because babies don't fucking speak English. Okay, a mother would never speak like that in front of her child. Some mothers do speak like that in front of their kids, because they're not from the 1950s, and some dads aren't passive assholes who don't help raise their kids. So why don't you jump in your time machine and go back and fuck a dinosaur or whatever. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love this skirt and boots thing. Anyway, this girl totally looked at me. What, like she was giving you the look? No, no, just she looked at me. Oh, like she noticed you existed. Totally noticed, felt great. Yeah, man, I get that. Oh. Teddy, Teddy! Oh. Oh. You're okay, buddy. You're good, man. Jeez, does that happen a lot? Landing on his face, every day. Mobile kids are little suicide machines. Yesterday, I gave him water to drink out of a wine glass and he bit it so hard that I had to pull pieces of glass out of his mouth. Jesus. That stuff ever freak you out? I can't let it. He looks at me every time he falls down to see if he should freak out or whatever. So I have to be unafraid 100% of the time or else it'll turn out like you. Ha uh ha. -huh. I get stressed out, I get a massage, I'm fucking good. You and your fucking massages. I don't see what there is to stress out about. I mean, you have kids, you don't have kids. You still have to live your life. That is the stupidest fucking thing I ever heard. Things have a way of working themselves out. That's what I always tell Katie. You know, she wants to have a birth plan now. You have to have a birth plan. Yeah, we had a birth plan. We had a half dozen contingency birth plans. Yeah, that's you. And just because you have a plan doesn't mean that's how it's going to happen. I mean, it's like skydiving. You jump out of the plane, you figure it out. That's so fucking dumb. It's not like skydiving. You went skydiving one time and you were strapped to a dude who definitely had a plan. It's just giving birth. Dude, her vagina is gonna rip open and they'll sew it back together. Don't ever say what you just said to Katie. Whatever, man. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not you. I don't worry. I plan so I don't have to worry. Yeah, man, he doesn't worry. Uh, why don't you let Penny watch TV again? That's a legitimate concern. Yeah. She watches TV today, she watches TV tomorrow. She watches TV tomorrow, she's not into reading. She doesn't read for pleasure, she doesn't do her homework. A's turn into B's, turn into C's, and all of a sudden I'm listening to some pig-faced admissions officer tell me Harvard isn't for everyone. Fuck Harvard. All right, I should probably get going. Aren't you your own boss? Yeah, but Katie's got a package coming by this morning before work. I'll see you guys later. Word. Whoa, see that? Yeah. Looked right at you. It's been a great morning. It's just one night. You're too nice. Is that how you're saying you're not okay with this? No, I will be fine. I just want to hear you say no once in a while. You know, as an exercise. There's nothing wrong with helping out a person in need. Dave's a single dad. That doesn't elicit any sympathy from your ice cold heart. <laughs> hey! Hello. Hey, Nate. Thank you for doing this. Sure, <laughs> sure it's not an imposition? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm going to be a child educator like you guys, but I'll figure it out. Uh, it'll be fine. Uh, here so is my phone number and a list of all her allergies. Oh, great. Okay, peanuts, walnuts, almond. Okay, so nuts as a group. And dog food. Oh, how would you know that? I tried to set her to bed once without dinner. She got the dog's dog food. She's fine. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So we'll be back tomorrow around four? Yeah, no, that's cool. We'll be, uh, we'll be fine. Okay, Dave and I should get to work. Love you. Bye, see you guys tonight. We'll be good. Michelle, I'll see you tomorrow. The sandwich is important. See ya. How did I think that? I love Easton Mall. I was. A little bit of magic. You looking for something in particular? You're a bitch. Excuse me. Are you deaf, bitch? 
You can't call someone that word. If you're not a bitch, turn on Game of Thrones. Definitely not. You can't watch Game of Thrones. You're six years old. I want to watch Game of Thrones. Okay, calm down, okay? Be cool. Let's 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 watch Sesame Street. How about that? Sesame Street is for bitches, bitch. Okay, enough of that. Let's you and me find a rational solution that works for both of us. Fuck you. Where did you learn to talk like that? Game of Thrones. So, the first rule of financial planning is spend less than you earn. I tell that to all of my clients. I write it on my blog. I actually have a blog. If cool. You're... So, I'm going to save you some time. I get financial planning. I've been saving since high school. I shop with coupons. I skip guacamole at Chipotle. I get it. So, why are you here? The big number. My husband wants you to calculate the grand total of every conceivable baby-related expense from today until college. You don't have to explain the big number. It's an accounting term. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I suppose we can generate some financial targets for you. A uh, few simple questions. Are we going to be doing stay-at-home parenting or daycare? Nanny. Nanny? Okay. Gives her personal attention, but she also learns ambition from two professional parents. Also, daycares are filled with bacteria. Uh, are you ever considering moving to the suburbs? Uh, see, every day in the sheltered room of the suburbs would give her this tiny sense of false exceptionalism. By the time she gets to high school, she'd be unable to deal with failure. She quits basketball a sophomore year after the coach benches her, stops trying new things, ends up in a clerical job because that's easy and comfortable. City, we're just going to live in the city. Okay, great. Public or private schooling? Uh, private for pre-K, and then after that, also private. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have nanny, city real estate, and private schooling, so... Yeah, well, hold on. What about going solar to teach her the value of energy independence? A private creativity tutor to develop her right brain? A gender equity summer camp? Gender equity summer camp? To counteract the natural misogyny Western society inflicts upon us all. It takes years to undo that. Also, regular summer camps are filled with disease. She may as well spend the summer in a toilet. Okay. Okay, so... I think we have a number here. Okay, there we go. This is the number we have to hit? Well, that's more of a ballpark figure than it is an actual number. So this isn't even the big number? It's just a big number? Why'd we even come here? No offense. Don't worry, I have a thick skin. You should see some of the comments on my blog. How could we be this far behind? Parents don't usually worry about every single cost up front. Then how do they reach the big number? Yeah, that's not a thing. Financial planning isn't about delineating every single possible cost. It's about creating a flexible plan for the uncertain future. Do you guys mind if I blog about this? Okay. Olive is asleep. I can't believe you have one of these things. Man, are you fucking kidding me? You won the fucking lottery. When I grow up, I'm gonna get one of these. D, thank you so much for doing this. We wouldn't even have asked you, but our sitter got her fucking scooter stolen. No worries. You know, I'm at the office eight hours a day. To take care of my niece, it's like a vacation. Thank you. Whoa, what the hell is this? What is this? It's a speaker for a phone. Jesus Christ, man. It's like I'm in a fucking spaceship. I can't wait till I'm an adult. I'm gonna buy all of this stuff. You are an adult. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're 28, that's an adult. It turns water into soda. It's like an underage Jesus. Okay, I wrote everything down for you, but just in case there's broccoli and salmon in the fridge and Olive has sweet potato and breast milk in there also. I know the drill. I got it. As long as you're back here by seven because Grace is hosting one of those dining club events in the attic of a shoe store. Tonight she's experimenting with pea shoots, so... Actually, you know. Corinne is gonna relieve you. You're getting a massage, and Corinne is watching the kids? You're fucking sultan. It's good, but it's not perfect. Fuck that, man. You don't work. You have tons of money. I mean, you're like fucking you're like Prince William in here. I think I broke this. I'm sorry. I broke it. It doesn't matter. If you broke it, we'll just buy a new one. <laughs> Prince fucking William. Okay, so Harvard out, but Cornell Still Ivy League, so that... Going back to college, huh? Hey, what's up? Ah, uh, nothing. Just trying to beat Sally Marcus, this shitty little fourth grader. What? Girl Scout cookies. Oh. Yep. So you want Thin Mints again, or are you going to change it up this year? Uh, I don't think I can buy cookies from you this year. What? 
I'm sorry, Rob. I just, uh, money is kind of an issue right now, and I gotta keep it tight. Come on, man. I bought candy bars for your nephew. I walked for your mom's breast cancer. That's different. That's a walk. You want me to walk for your kid? I'll walk. No, that's not how that works. I... Look, just give me the $50 back that I gave to your mom's breast cancer. I can't do that. That would be the same as buying the cookies. No, that would be you paying me back. Your mom's $50 closer to a breast cancer cure because of me. Now you owe my daughter $50 worth of lessons about sisterhood. I can teach your kid about sisterhood. Dude, you don't know shit about sisterhood. I can do research. What? No, no, my daughter learned sisterhood by selling cookies. That's how the system works. But you're selling the cookies. Yeah, but... No, no, she's... The, the lesson is that... Dude, I need this, okay? I'm the youngest dad there. The other dads don't think I can move cookies. I'm begging you. I want to help, it's just I gotta think ahead to like tough or... I'll see you at the story meeting. I... I'm sorry! Hey man, what's up? Hey man, come see Talib Quilly with me this Wednesday. Zach just bailed. You gotta work nights next week. Sorry. You suck. Why are you whispering? I'm uh, playing hide and go seek right now. Oh right, that kid. How's the uh, skydiving? It was rough for a little while, but uh, I think we finally found some common ground. Nice. Yeah. She really wanted to watch Game of Thrones. You didn't let her do that, did you? Nah, man. I shut that shit down. Convinced her that hide and seek is like Game of Thrones live. Hey, how was that massage? About to go in right now. Word. Hey, where are you hiding? In the closet. And how long you been in there? Like 15 minutes. Fuck me. <laughs> How was your week? Right. Uh, it was good. I took Olive to the doctor on Monday. How'd that go? She has hyperfe. You know what that is? No. It's nothing. If it gets worse, we have to change her to a special diet so she doesn't get seizures or uh, brain damage. Sounds very stressful. Yeah. A little bit. I'm Googling everything. What does Corinne think about it? Uh, it's not that bad right now. So I'm trying not to have Corinne think about it. I gotta delete my search history so she can't see the 10 million blog posts I'm reading about what to feed kids with hyperfe. I saw this thing on how to make Moroccan carrot soup and I hid it like it was porn. So you don't share this with Corinne? Honestly, the thought of sharing my anxiety with her stresses me out more than just keeping it to myself. What I'm hearing in most of our sessions is that you find it very hard to be a stay-at-home dad. Being a firefighter is hard. Being a coal miner, that's hard. That doesn't mean being a father is easy. Millions of people raise kids every day. Any asshole can be a stay-at-home dad. Everyone needs help. Okay, here's your dinner. This smells like shit! Language, jeez. I'm not eating this! Come on, can't you eat some of it? No! Okay, let's figure this out. What will you eat? Ice cream. No way! You can have ice cream after you eat this. Bullshit! I'll have both. What does it matter which I have first? Okay, I guess that's rational. So get me ice cream. Can you say please? I can, but I don't say it to little bitches like you. Okay, I will get you ice cream. If you promise that you'll eat this after. Fine. Okay, it's a compromise, right? TV goes straight to bed, straight to bed. Okay. There you go. What did you do that for? I'm not eating that shit. But you promised! If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. Hey. 
Can I drop off these expenses? Uh, can this wait? I gotta get to my boyfriend's birthday thing. I'm sorry, I really need this. Jesus, what is all this? Some of these are from 2011. Uh, yeah, I realize I overlooked some expenses I need to be reimbursed for going back a ways. Dude, you can't dump this on me on a Friday. This is previous tax years. I'd have to involve accounting. I could talk to accounting. I know that guy with the glasses. Are you trying to expense Radiohead concert tickets? Uh, I was entertaining a source. This is 2007. I mean, I guess that's when they're relevant, so. What? They're still relevant. This is a handwritten note? Uh, that's a receipt for a hot dog I bought from a street vendor. I worked late that night. Two dollar hot dog? You need two dollars that badly? I'm saving for Syracuse or Boston College. Why do you have this photo of you and a girl? That's my ex-girlfriend. She drove me to the airport for a business trip. I just need five dollars for gas and mileage. Dude, we don't reimburse transpo. Yeah, we do. I've been expensing that for years. <sighs> Jesus. You gotta pay that back. No. You can fill this out. This out. This pen. You'll never be king. Never. Not in one thousand years. I don't care how much magic you have with you. I remember you. Oh. What's up, champ? What is this? What the fuck? Excuse me? Turn my show back on, bitch! Did you eat dinner? I'm eating ice cream. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. You're going to bed, I'm gonna bring you some broccoli, you're gonna eat it, and then you're gonna go to sleep. Fuck you! Okay, that's the last time you're gonna say that. Bed, broccoli, sleep. Go. That was amazing. She's a good kid. Did you get her back to sleep? Yeah, it wasn't a bad one. Hey, you want to shut up Sports Center? What is this? Uh, Loretta Meyer. Who's Loretta Meyer? She's like Susie Orman, but with a touch of Stalin. Oh, that's just what you need right now. Yeah, so it turns out we can save $10 a month if we eat our sandwiches without bread. Okay, honey, this sounds like one of your chill the fuck out moments. I had a plan, and now it's fucked. It's not. It is. We're gonna have to cut back, and God knows how that'll fuck her up. It's possible she would have turned out shitty anyway. Of course it's possible, but now our odds are a lot worse. I passed down Girl Scout cookies today. You didn't have to do that. The point is, are your shirts reversible? Because Loretta says... All right. Enough Loretta. No, uh, Loretta told me that you would try to shut her out. I'm supposed to say that Loretta is- Zach, first of all, get that pen out of your mouth. That's disgusting. Second of all, you don't have to do this all in one day. I need to get this shit settled now, in case I'm not around. You'll be around. You don't know that. It's not hereditary. He was a smoker. You're not. <sighs> Worrying isn't protection against bad things happening. We could give her everything. She could still end up a goddamn Republican. God, don't say that. Talking to us over dinner about how the healthcare system could be fixed by tort reform. I'd rather she get mauled by a zoo lion. She could be in a stadium collapse. Fall into a crevasse. Get exploded by fireworks. Get out of the crevasse and then fall back in it. She could get trampled at some shitty rave. You think she could be in the house music? It's a possibility we definitely need to consider. Dude, I'm so sorry. Corinne had to work late. Half an hour is late. An hour is really late. Two hours is Grace threatening to shove pea shoots down my dick hole. I'll call Grace. I'll apologize to her. I, I thought Corinne had it. Hey man, I texted Corinne five times and she never responded to me. She's lead counsel on like this huge case. Whatever, man. Okay, I'm not even an adult yet 
and I'm taking care of your kids, so you owe me one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this soda maker and I'm gonna give it to Grace, and then maybe one day she'll have sex with me again. Totally fair. That's Corinne. That's Corinne calling right now. Do you wanna talk to her? Uh, no, but you can tell Corinne that she fucked me. Fucking plane, right? 